Good day mates, <clears throat> welcome back. So, <clears throat> news is, I've pretty much got over the uh, chest infection from hell. <clears throat> Still a little bit, because uh, I've got asthma anyway, so any anything that I get on the chest always uh, ends up bad, should we say. So anyway, uh, only a little bit of coughing in mornings now sometimes not all the time so anyway it's all good so here we go I've got a couple of bits to show you first off I want to show you um, that I've finished the old uh, vintage Tamiya Panther House for long A for the John Moore scale model group build which ends think possibly I can't remember either the, in the next couple of weeks something like that anyway so that's it let's have a little looky looky and uh, we'll crack on so here we go with the uh, Tamiya Panther it's finished now had to buy aftermarket tow cables because uh, the, the ones with the kit were plastic and uh, they didn't fare too well one of them broke in two or three places the other ones broke in half tried super gluing them but to no avail didn't look right anyway it's pretty much out of the box apart from the toe shackles which it didn't come with any and uh, you've got to have toe shackles so I found four from the spares box two on the back two on the front and kept the barrel in like an iron color just for a bit of contrast and a bit of change from the free tone camo they're uh, rubber band tracks which were a bit of a bitch to get on because they were a tiny little bit too short but they were super glued to get the track sag super glued on those two wheels there and then I wedged some of this which is Tamiya sanding sponge folded it over wedged it in there and I left it for five days so there you go it's come out nice uh, the free tone camo I sketched it on with pencil first off from a picture that I found on the interwebs and there's the obligatory bucket with a dirty rag in the back yeah the camo I found a picture of this free tone camo on a uh, house for wrong A so I sketched it out in pencil which probably took about half hour 40 minutes and then I just went to work with the trusty old Da, 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 da. My water, you water, you water, eclipse 0.3 needle, and with these beautiful, beautiful paints that spray absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm not the best airbrusher, but I don't want to boast, but for me that is amazing the way that's come out and it's all because probably 95% because of that paint is just so good and the other 5% is because it's a bloody decent airbrush for now for now so that's where we are with the panther it's a beautiful kit everybody moans about them Oh, this is wrong, that's wrong, it hasn't got this detail on it, hasn't got that detail on it. It's just a beautiful kit. You get out of it what you put in. And I really, really enjoyed building this and painting it. Um, I had a figure to go in the top, because I do like to put a at least a commander in my tanks. But 
he was a bit out of scale. I chopped his legs off and even then I couldn't get him in the cupola properly. And he just looked too big. I still think that that MG looks a bit too big to me, but I'm not too sure. It's on there now anyway. So, that's the Panzer. So let's have a look at what else I've got. So, that was the Panther. Pretty pleased with that. I would definitely buy that kit again. 15 quid, not bad. This is what I'm currently drinking. My all time favorite. I don't drink a lot of fizzy drinks. In fact, I don't drink any apart from this. I don't drink Coke, I don't drink Pepsi, I don't drink Fanta, I don't drink 7up, none of that rubbish. I have a can of Red Bull every now and then, but other than that, it's cream soda, it takes me back to my childhood. Right, so, I've been looking for some interesting and different kits on the interwebs, and, uh, I just I can't remember what I did whether I did a search for Bronco 135 or 135 tanks or something like that but anyway I came across this little kid here that I've got in front of me which is this the Hungarian Stug and it's a beauty well I think it is anyway my friend Matthew from uh, Down Under will be interested in this, so let's have a little looky-looky and see what's in the box. So this is the box. Bronco models. There's your decal sheet. You get PE, you get m m a few more bits than that. This came from China. Took a few weeks. There's a little looky looky at the uh, wheel assembly, gun assembly. You do get that MG, you do get that oil barrel, and you do get jerry cans. I'm not sure about those boxes, if they're ammo boxes. There's the kit number if you're interested. So let's have a little looky what's inside. So it's a uh, Hungarian tank destroyer. Obviously looks like a Stug 3. And uh, didn't go into production too late in the war. When uh, the Hungarian army realised that they were uh, sadly lacking in tank destroyers on the Eastern Front. So they needed something to uh, try to kick the arse of the T-34s, which was a task in itself. So... Let's have a little looky-looky in the box. Everything came fully bagged up. I don't know if anybody's ever done a Bronco kit, but the instructions are so clear, so easy to follow. It'll be a breeze. Right. Let's get down to the nitty gritty and have a little look at the sprues and of course the instructions. So here we go. Really tasty. Usual Bronco. Shiny, thick, not cheap and nasty paper. Colour call out. There's a couple of different schemes, not very much. And there's the sprue map, which I've ticked off to make sure everything was there. Starts off building the 105 gun and the gun breech. 
it's so clear these instructions even a blind man could follow them then you move on to the lower hole all the uh, running gear all that malarkey down that side some more running gear business sprockets and idlers over there idler covers and the tracks which mm, I'm going to show you in a minute I think they're going to be what let it down for me I'm not very good at uh, those sort of tracks where you need infinite patience onto the upper hole or the roof as I like to call it all the hatches all the hatches open or you can build them open some more hatch business putting the gun breech in putting the roof on finishing up with jack box or tool boxes whatever they are on the front tool box on the back putting the roof on roof meets the lower hole tracks on and this is uh, different options you can have <coughs> wire mesh shirts and or not entirely up to you you get that that's all PE and you get a PE uh, paint stencil for painting on the uh, shirts and there's your MG construction and there's your oil barrels and all that malarkey and jerry cans and there's the two paint schemes basically it's olive drab olive drab without shirts and olive drab with shirts and which is this is the one I'm going to do because I like that on the side there that's the thing that you get the PE uh, stencil for I'll show you that in a bit. Oh, you've got this uh, free tone camo affair on the back with shirts, and I don't think I want to do that. I've just done a free tone camo. And there you go. Nice looking instructions, easy to follow, clear. Now then. As you can see, I've not opened it, any of this yet. This is what I'm not looking forward to, the tracks. I think my mate Matthew might be relishing these, but me... Mm, you've got to cut each one off. The sprue clean them up it's got a little guide horn on it but there's loads of them in there look let's get them out without losing any there's a couple have come off already yeah put them in there John boy so that's the lower hole as you can see there's plenty of bolt action going on raised bolt action there which will look good with a pin wash some detail on the uh, underside of the uh, lower hole that's quite nice put that back in the bag let's have a look at the roof clear parts for periscopes and headlights nice 
here's the roof as you can see there's quite a few hatches to go on and it's got that same raised bolt detail all the way around it which will look great in the olive drab I reckon with a pin wash on it Reek good Reek good so that's the lid and the lower hole put that back in the bag I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing this but hey ho <sighs> eventually I'll do it some small bits bit of wheel action going on there that's a duplicate same so I would imagine it's one for each side and then you've got these some nice flimsy breakable bits to get while you're getting off the sprue snap 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 I don't know why I'm bothering with the bags to be honest in the bin with it so have a look at this one. Oh, by the way uh, I was doing some bits and pieces on Sunday did you hear about the bloke that had this put this brand new blade in his scalpel scraped a bit of gunchy stuff off me panther and then thought, oh yeah, I know what I'll do. I'll scrape it off with my finger. Ooh, yeah, straight into that finger, mate. Blood everywhere. So, you know, don't get old, boys and girls, because it ain't nice at all. Right. So we've got some. Again with that nice bolt detail on it it's a very interesting uh, kit I think look at those tiny little things that's going to be a challenge getting them off the sprue without them A flying into oblivion or B breaking in 20 different parts gun breach business Looking good. <laughs> Looking good, my friend. So, another small sprue here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the uh, MG, quite a nice detail on that, with the little uh, two legs, you can have the legs kicking out or the legs folded, which is good, the three ammo, what do you call them, ammo round things, <laughs> oh I know all the technical terms me mate, ammo round things right we've got some more for the upper hole hatches and stuff bolt detail again it's gonna look good I think it's gonna be a nice kit to build I've built one other Bronco kit and that was a Bofors 40mm AA gun which I did for a, a World War Two group build and someone commented Whoa, what's an AA gun what's this got to do with World War Two check your history mate the Beaufort's AA gun was what kept the country our country mate there was 
all over the country shooting down German planes mate they were at almost every airfield in the country read your history boy so we've got sprockets very nice crisp detail some wheel business going on there again nicely detailed and those suspension leaf springs some uh, more for the suspension there over there and that's the same that's just a duplicate of what I've just showed you one for each side again I would imagine we're getting there what does it do with that knife there you go oh nearly got me there again I'm definitely not not applying for a job as a surgeon so we've got some more for the suspension the covers for the idler and sprockets bit of side fender action is that uh, some wire cutters there tiny little wire cutters another crowbar oh look at them good grief what's the chances of them coming off the sprue in one piece so that's a piece that's fell off from something so I'll keep that safe over there now we're down to the last few bits this is just the um, plenty of jerry cans jerry can action good grief those tiny little microscopic bits on the end there oil drum action And more jerry can action. Now we get to the PE, which is in like a little sealable bag. There's some general PE bits. Quite a bit there, actually. There's the mesh side skirts. That's super thin that. Super thin. Jerry can. Action. Shirts and for between the two parts of the jerry cans. Shirts and PE, you fool. Some decal action. Not much, but hey ho. <coughs> so, the last little bit is your PE stencil for the uh, marking on the side of that one that I was going to do the olive drab with the number one on <coughs> unfortunately you just get a bit of string for the tow cable which is a bit lame after all this good um, PE and what have you but I've got this electrical wire that I'm going to strip the plastic off and make my own tow cables and there's five meters of it there so that should keep me going for a while cheap as chips and that's it boys and girls 
it's a nice looking kit Matthew from Down Under I hope you enjoyed that and I hope uh, I hope it's made you think ooh I might like that it's very Stug like so I think you ought to make the purchase my friend I don't know if that's a bit or if it's a bit off a broken sprue but like I said I'm not looking forward to them at all but we'll have a go all I can do is have a go put them back in the box and that's about it my friends so I'm back in action I did a little bit I finished the panther off Sunday so I felt a bit better I did a little bit Saturday and finished it off Sunday because so I felt much better and there you have it the Hungarian Stug Bronco all the way from China you can see how good that box is there wasn't one bit of damage on it from the from the uh, shipping from China to here it was in a big thick cardboard box and uh, yeah I'm pleased with that so as always thank you for watching thanks for anyone that subscribed thanks for anyone that comments you all top people take care my friends and uh, hopefully I'll get some more done on the big stug at the weekend and post a video then cheers guys see you later